Did you ever wonder how some of those people are posting all over social media and still have time? Well, there's a secret to it. You can actually schedule your posts and I'm going to show you how to do that today. It's really awesome and I'm going to show you a program that I like to use where you can go in and schedule. Obviously there's tons of them out there. You can go out and do your research but the one I'm going to show you today is called Loomly and this is the one that I use. This is my favorite, one of my favorites anyway and I'm going to show you what it looks like and give you an idea of what scheduling your posts can do in your life. All right let's go ahead and get started. So is is posting on social media eating up your time? You're trying to post to Twitter, to Instagram, to Facebook. Of course, if you're brand new, you probably shouldn't be posting to so many places, but maybe you've already got these platforms established and then you decided to start your business. Um, there's lots of reasons. People have to do what's best for them. So you're in a dilemma. Um, I, you know, even posting to one platform and being a, what, what if I could tell you, you could post out everything in one month in one day and then not even have to mess with it. That's what this does for you. So even if you're only on one platform, this could be your thing. So let's go ahead and look at Loomly and see what it does. And let's try to get rid of some of that frustration. Loomly makes your posting look like this. So you can go in and I'm going to show you how I'm not going to go in real detail, like step by step and give you a tutorial because every every software tool that you buy will have that and you can follow it as you're using it. But I want to show you what it looks like and let you see how easy it is. But this is what attracted me to Loomly. I love their layout. Here's a layout of a calendar. So I'm going to show you the steps and what you can do to put your post in and see how easy it is. But then I want you to see this is what it looks like when you go to your schedule to your calendar. You can say, do I have enough scheduled for January? Do I have enough scheduled for March? And you can see exactly what you have scheduled and say, you know what, I might want to pop some in over here on January 4th, uh, 9th or 10th or something like that. So this gives you a visual and I personally am very, very visual. I need to see what it looks like when it's all put together. So that's what attracted me was the calendar. Um, so where do we go from there? Right here, you can create a calendar and this is what it looks like. It's step by step. And when you set the calendar up, this is a cool thing too. You can have more than one calendar. So if you happen to be running a business, an agency and posting social media for other people, guess what those people are using? They're using a tool just like this. They're going to go into their clients accounts and set up all their social media for the next three or four months and then go work on the next one. So you could even start a job doing this as a social media scheduler or an agency. So you go in and you schedule your new calendar. And again, it takes you step by step. Um, it gives you a, an opt-in that uh, it says current scheduling options. It gives you different options that you can go to. And ex example right here, you can start a new calendar or you can pop into your other calendars. So maybe you're on five or six different social media platforms. So let's say you're on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and LinkedIn and Instagram. So you have five. You can look at individual calendars for them or you can look at the whole calendar of everybody together or you can make calendars for your clients, for other people. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe there are certain things you didn't want to put on Instagram, but you did want to put on Facebook and things like that. But I'm going to show you how simple it is if you have one post that you want to share every place. I used to think when I was brand new, well, why would I want to share the same post on all of my social media platforms? Then everybody's going to see the same post. But once you start building an audience, everybody is not on all of your platforms. You have your Instagram people, you have your Facebook people, your YouTube people. There's different people on different platforms. Now, if somebody's really stalking you and they absolutely love you, well, then they're just going to get a, a dose of five times the same thing. That's just what they're, and hopefully they'll realize that and stop being on everything, but that's their choice. So you can do that. Now, notice here on Instagram, Instagram does not allow people to schedule their post. Instagram wants people to be live and active and engaged and present. So what you can do is schedule your posts in Loomly and then Loomly will notify you and say, hey, don't forget to hit this button and post your Instagram post. So you can plan them 
and schedule them, but you have to manually go onto your phone or whatever for Instagram and hit the button and post it. But it is still nice that you can have it all planned out. And you don't have to keep thinking about it. That's the nice thing about your business. You want to start learning how to focus on certain tasks and do as much as you can um, bulk <laughs> and then go focus on something else. All right. Set your workflow. So here you can set how your workflow will be um, set up. So you can have an original workflow, a light workflow, and a zero workflow. Um, zero means that you don't have to have anything approved. Um, the other workflows, it, you can put some parameters in there, like maybe if you're running a business, you might want it to go have the creator create it, then you might want to have your QA person check it, and then your third person's going to go ahead and post it or something like that. So that's your workflow. If you're just doing it yourself and you don't need anybody to approve it, then you're going to pick the one down here at the bottom. So you, to create a new calendar, it's very, very easy. You can see the steps here. Again, I'm not going to sit here and do it, obviously, but I want you to see. But set, posting details. Now, when you go to do a post, you're going to give um, go ahead and follow the directions step by step. And as you're following them and you set a post, so right here, here's all your post details. You're going to say, I want it on Pinterest. I want it on LinkedIn. You pick which social media platforms that you want it on. When you set up your account, you tell Loomly which accounts you have and you have to integrate them. Again, every post doesn't have to go on every platform, but this is the neat thing. When it does, it will um, allow you to go in and tweak the content. So obviously when you put something on Pinterest and you put something on Facebook, the, the size of the picture is different and maybe what you want to say, you want to tweak it a little bit differently. Facebook, you might have this lengthy thing that you're going to say about that post and maybe you have a shorter version you're going to put on Pinterest or Instagram. So you go in and it's going to say, this is what it looks like on each of these platforms. How do you want to tweak it? And then you tweak it. But the neat thing is you're one piece of content. So if you're on YouTube, what a lot of YouTubers do is like on Monday, you might make all your YouTube videos and then throughout the week, you're going to make sure you post it on all your platforms and, and get it out there. And one way to do it is to schedule it out ahead of time. All right. And here you can fine tune your channels or, or, or your, each of your tweaks each of your posts. It's raining here and I just had a big um, thunder thing and it just made me jump. Sorry about that. It kind of took me off. Um, hopefully we'll make it through this video. All right. And then um, you can set age restrictions. Probably. Um, I typically don't. Anybody can watch what I have, but if you have something that needs to be restricted, some people do, um, you have that ability to do that. This is something I like too, the dashboard. Look how easy and user-friendly this dashboard is. Everything you need is right there. It tells you exactly what it is and you can just click it and go into that area. I love again, that it's all very visual. Visual. It's not some tabs off to the side that I have to figure out what the, those, those titles mean. I can look at it and go, oh yeah, you know that I, I understand that. I see what that is. So again, it, it's just a preference. Here's your calendar again, wonderful user friendly visual for your calendar. And again, you can go out six months at a time if you want to. Now you might say, okay, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to schedule all of my stuff out for six months, but what if I scheduled everything from January to June and here it is March and maybe there was something I wanted to post. Well, you can still go in there live. You can still, um, if you found something maybe that you want to share, you're an affiliate marketer and you didn't want to wait till June to start sharing this particular product or content about it, go share it. You can go in there at any time and change the schedule. It's not set, but the work the bulk of the work is done and you don't have to have that hanging over your head every week. I got to get in there so many times a week. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, here's another view that they have as well. It lets you see um, what your posts are, where they're at, and it, it's just a different type of view instead of a calendar view. But again, it's very visual. It lets you see what pictures that you're using and where did you post it. Um, what your copy is, the part you write, your words is called your copy. Um, and, and you can see the posts and not just the schedule. So that's cool too. And maybe you'll go in there and say, you know what? I don't like that picture. I'm going to change it and um, change it up. Or maybe you had a particular post that had a lot of engagement and you want to talk about the same subject, but 
maybe elaborate on something and change the pictures out of that. The neat thing about posting too is once they're posted, they go into an archive, you can go back and recycle your work. So I know a, a couple of people have been around for a long time. They will schedule things six months at a time and then they have like four sets of posting that they do and they just keep recycling it. So when they go back to recycle, they may go in and tweak it, update it, it's ready to go again. So it can save you a lot of time. And if it's something you don't like to do, it's all, you know, something you can hire, hire it out, let somebody else do it. Now this is neat for Facebook. You can choose your tar target audience and promote them on Facebook. So it isn't an ad. You're not really paying for an ad, but it works like an ad. So if you have a particular post on Facebook and you want to target an audience, this is awesome. You can use this in Loomly. So Facebook will post it um, to people that would be most interested in. And you know how that is. You're sitting in your house talking to your spouse or one of the kids about a, a particular dog food that you like. And all of a sudden there's commercials on TV. It's all over your uh, Facebook because somebody out there heard you that you liked a particular dog food. That happens to us all the time. Um, but that's what marketing is. And we're in a technology world. And so you'll be part of it. You can find those people that like what you're promoting and Facebook will put it right in front of their face. And again, this is just a little um, overall uh, view for you, um, you know, to see. I wanted to let you know, too, that you're probably thinking, yes, but how am I going to come up with all these ideas? You don't have to worry about it. Loomly has a whole library of quotes. They have pictures in their media library that you can use. You can change your text and all that. Again, I'm not even going into the mechanics of how to make a post. I'm showing you what it does. But if you've ever used Canva and you've made a post there, a lot of that is available to you right here in Loomly as well. And you can still go get your own pictures, but it's there. If you can't think and you need stuff available right away, it's all there right for you. And other things that Loomly does, it, it brings up ideas for you. It brings up questions quotes, the media library, just like I was talking, and it also has analytics. So if you want to see which one, which posts were getting more engagement, more views, you can get analytics attached to your post as well, which is anytime you're doing marketing, you want your analytics. So I'm going to pull up the pricing. And I want you to see here um, some of the different pricing. There, There is a 15-day uh, free trial, which I love. Anytime you use any software, use the free trial. If you're seriously looking for a scheduler, find two or three that you want to check out. Make sure they all have that free trial. Use the free trial and just make sure you go in and cancel your membership if you're trying out two or three of them. You could try them all out at the same time and go in and out and then cancel two and pick the one you want. But the I always if, make sure that I like the one I want. The first month, I'll go ahead and pay the monthly fee. If I'm positive that that's what I like, then I just go ahead and get the yearly fee because you can... Um, uh, save a lot of money that way. But this one here, the base, the cheapest, the lowest level can have two users. So you can have somebody helping you with you, helping you with it. So if you hire somebody and then you can have 10 accounts, that means 10 different social media accounts. So even if you have like three Facebook pages, all three of those could be on there. So that's pretty cool. There is, um, and you can run ads if you want to. Um, the only thing with this one um, you, well, you just want to look at what each one has. And I think the uh, obviously the higher you go, um, you can get into custom branding and things like that. If you're running a business, you're going to want a, you know, some of these more advanced and premium and enterprise and things like that. Those are for people running a business. But again, if that's something you're thinking about, this is the way to go. It's not, if you love to be on social media and you love to post, turn it into a business and do what you love to do uh, more than anything. Gosh, you know, so easy. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you subscribe. And so you can see my videos that I put out every Tuesday, every Friday to help you, uh, tips to help you run a business online, specifically affiliate marketing using YouTube. That's what most of my videos are about. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.